This is at one for the Tahoma mine. It's HA55. We're looking almost due west at the collapsed at it. You can see back in there quite a ways. Uh, maybe some timbers in there. It looks like it had burned um, as most of these uh, mines have in, in the recent fire. So again, we're looking almost due west at the collapsed at it for the Tahoma mine, the Adit 1. We'll turn around and take a look at the dump now. Here we're looking almost due east from the inside the that uh, trench where the, the Adit has collapsed for Adit 1 of the Tahoma mine. HA55. Looking out on the dump there you can see rails that come out. Uh, they kind of are broken up and they split right here. Then one set goes on over off the dump and we'll get a view of them as they as they fall off the the uh, hill there or off of the the edge of the dump down to the to the little spur road that we're off of. And we'll take a look now at back up to the to the west at the dump now and uh, just to get an idea of how big it is. Here we're looking southwest at the dump for the Adit 1 of the Tahoma mine, HA55. You can see the, the rails as they come off the off the dump there, they uh, pretty kind of difficult to see, but you can see kind of what what I was talking about. It goes out over the over the dump, and then it, it just has collapsed away there. It kind of follows the dump down. It's not a huge dump. It's only about 40 feet long, and uh, oh, 40 or 50 feet wide. Kind of makes a big flat outside the the uh, portal of what we just looked at. So this will be it for at it one of the Tahoma mine. We'll just pan around and look at. The dump for Adit 2 of the Tahoma is just to the to the south and and uh, or to the north and uh, west of Adit 1. We'll just pan around up onto the hill. So here we're looking southwest now at the dump for the second Adit of the Tahoma mine. We'll go up there and take a look at what the Adit looks like now. This is Adit 2 for the Tahoma mine, HA55. Again, it's similar to Adit 1, it's collapsed. Um, the dump is not near as big. There's some some strap rails here as if they it, they did do a bit of work back in there. And the dump's about, oh, 35 or so feet long and uh, 40 or 50 feet wide because it, it spreads out along the hillside. Makes a nice working platform up here. But again, you can see that the added is totally collapsed. Uh, no water running out of it or anything. So we'll turn around, we'll get up where those uh, branches are and inside the, the trough there of the collapsed added and take a look back on the dump. Here we're looking out on the dump from the second adit for the Tahoma mine, HA55. Again, it goes about 40 feet, 30 or so, 35, maybe as much as 40 feet. There's a couple different lobes of the of the dump. It's a, kind of a nice little flat area up here, and uh, it really is not very extensive. We'll take a profile look of the dump now looking south. Here we're looking nearly south at the a profile of the dump for the second adit of the Tahoma mine, HA55. You can see it, it does bleed down the hill a little ways. It's probably not that extensive of an adit uh, and that the dump is not terribly large. 
Uh, we're down, looking down now. There's a spur road that leads up up here to this, close by to this adit. And then in the upper upper road there, that's the road that goes on downhill to the to the north down to uh, the city of Atlanta. So this will be it for the second adit of the Tahoma mine. We'll go and uh, check out. There's shown on the map at least four adits, and we'll there no doubt is is that many. We'll go look for adit three now. This is at it three for the Tahoma mine, HA55. We're looking basically southwest at the portal. Um, it's not open. Uh, there is timbers right, right up at the portal, and uh, it hasn't burned like most of the others completely. It uh, is not open back in there. It uh, looks like it for a ways, but it isn't. The the added is discharging a small stream, all one to two gallons a minute, maybe slightly bit more. This real green lush area coming out away from the, the portal there is kind of the course of the stream. There's a pond out here on the dump uh, where the water stops. It's fairly deep, about two or three feet deep. And then it, it continues on uh, around the edge of the dump. And uh, there's another, looks like a, uh, a man-made pond. This may be also man-made. Uh, we'll go take a look at that. It, the water stops at this other pond and then uh, it basically seeps down through the dump but I was unable to find where it uh, discharged and Quartz Gulch is just right below it and I could not find a, a discharge point uh, for the, the mine water so I didn't take any other water samples other than just right here at the at the portal. Here we're looking northwest from the where the portal was of the the uh, third adit for the Tahoma mine. There's again that pond, that little one that's just outside the uh, portal on the dump, and then the the course of water just continues on uh, around, and it, it goes down. And this little uh, raised area of dump material is the edge of the of where they ponded the water up. Looks like it's man-made. Um, the dump itself is about 80 feet wide and about 130 feet long. There are uh, abundant mine rails uh, stacked around on the on the dump. You see down in the grass there a little bit, uh, a few rails there, and then on around there's some more. Uh, we won't concentrate on that. We'll go take a look at that at that pond on the far end and see how that works. Here's that small pond we were looking at, or looking at the where it uh, comes around. Um, it's kind of on the north east side of the of the dump. Um, it's fairly good sized uh, pond. The water comes into that that comes out of the portal and uh, goes right right here, right to the edge of the of the dump and uh, ponds up and it seep, must seep down through because there was no actual flow down over the dump and I could not find a seep at the base of the dump so no water samples were taken uh, basically this is where the where the water uh, goes down it, it that's the the lowest point right there and it's just basically seeping down through the dump but no samples were taken of of that so we'll take a, a look at back at the dump from the from the road down below and uh, get a perspective of how deep it really is. Here we're looking back to the northwest. We're just on the east side of Quartz Gulch, looking back at the dump for the number three adit for the Tahoma mine at HA55. Again, it uh, it comes down we're right at this northern end. Here's where that uh, pond is. Um, no sign of seepage uh, through the dump, but I'm sure it, it does seep because there is a, a bit of a flow up at the that you could see at the at the portal. So this gives you an idea. It's uh, probably at the most 15 feet thick. Um, not a huge dump. It spread out quite a bit. 
quite a big area up on the flat up there, but it really is not all that su substantial. It's probably the biggest dump for the Dahoma. The map showed four addits, and with a concerted uh, effort trying to find the fourth addit, there, um, one was not located. There are possibilities, um, maybe uh, it was it was destroyed in some road building uh, that that is just some new new looking road. Maybe they opened up an old road, but um, it really uh, could not find the fourth at it. So this will be the, all the three at its for the Tahoma. There is one other area that's kind of between the the uh, second and third at it. Will go on up the hill, almost due west of us. It's uh, quite a large area that's been uh, almost like bulk mine up here, right above the the road that travels up there, the newer looking road. Uh, this is not the best view of it, but it's quite a quite a large uh, opening they've got there. Um, that might have been for bulk mining, and I'm not sure what the, the purpose of it was, but uh, there's mineralized rock in in this big scarp, and so that may have been what it was. And that may also have been where the fourth added on the on the uh, property was. But uh, again, uh, no specific added will be dealt with as the number four added for the Tahoma. So this will be it for the Tahoma mine, HA-55. What we're looking at here is the Monarch Mill site. It's just west of the city of Atlanta. It's uh, just kind of right on the border of, of the town. We're looking at the foundation for the mill, kind of looking south and west a little bit, mostly mostly south. Uh, see the, the nice stonework for the for the rock wall are all hand fitted uh, predominantly granite boulder or uh, rocks that uh, built the foundation. It's very stable. There is a, a bit of machinery uh, in and around the, the foundation and up on top. Uh, the mill is is all collapsed. It may have burned at one time. Uh, it's hard to say. But we're out on the the tailings. It's very fine material from the mill. Um, probably flotation and maybe jig tailings. It's hard to say. A sample was taken. Uh, this site number will be E80401-1 and the sample will be dash 2 we're just panning around to the west here looking at the real light material where the the grass and and such has not uh, revegetated very well uh, several real light spots uh, uh, that are very obvious out on this flat um, it I estimated it's approximately 400 feet by 400 feet that may be a little bit big but that's approximately the size of the of the tailings and they may be oh several feet thick it's hard to say. I have, ne I have not dug down into it to see how deep they could be, but they're several feet at least. So uh, it's got a gated road coming down to the to the mill, four service gate put there there just to keep people from coming down here uh, and doing any damage. But we'll go over close to the to the rock wall there to the to the foundation walls and look at some of the old machinery now. Here we're right at the the uh, rock foundation for the Monarch Mill. There's some old machinery that's uh, just right off of the wall. You see the the wall right here. We're almost uh, within a foot or two of it of the wall. We're just going to pan around to the to the north now and look kind of at the flat from this perspective. There's more scrap metal and and uh, machinery. And we're just going to pan around the the flat just to get a, another perspective. It's pretty pretty hard to get a, a real good idea of how big it is from from this point of view but it is it is a quite large flat of of mill tailings and the kind of tailings is to me kind of a mystery it, it probably is flotation but there may be jig uh, tailings involved there and again there's you see more bits and pieces of machinery um, in and around the there's a another big pile kind of in the brush right there adjacent to the to the rock foundation so, just to give a, an idea of, of uh, what the size of this mill was that's right adjacent to the city of Atlanta, 
um, more or less for completeness sake it's all on private ground here um, I don't know what the, the main plan for dealing with these tailings is but uh, we're, we got a, a sample of it and we'll run it there's no water draining through here so uh, water is not a problem uh, the Boise River East Fork or the middle fork of the Boise River is uh, just to the north of us it kind of goes around the tailings pile here so that may be an issue but uh, at this point no samples of the river uh, will be taken so this will be it for the Monarch mill site it's E80401-1